everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely rug. This rug is about 40 inches in diameter and is made of 100% cotton yarn. Very quickly before we get started, I want to say a big thank you to today's tutorial sponsor, and that is Erica Von Drack. She provided the cotton air yarn for this tutorial and is also providing all of my viewers with a coupon code. Please check out the description box below for more information. If you do decide to use the coupon code, it is an affiliate link and it does help support this channel. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Now let's get started. For this rug, I used seven skeins of the Cotton Air. It is a super bulky category six yarn. I am also using an L eight millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. Now to start the pattern, create a slip knot. Then chain four. Yarn over, pull through for one chain. Here I have a chain of four. You never count this loop on your hook. You're then going to slip stitch to your first chain to form a ring. So I'm just going to insert my hook into this very first chain, grab my yarn and pull it through, and then also through the loop on my hook for a slip stitch and there it created a ring. Next you're going to chain three. This chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. Next we're going to double crochet 11 times into this ring. So to double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops. And that's our first double crochet. We're going to do this until we have 12 double crochet total. Remember we're going to be counting this as one of our double crochet. Here I have 12 double crochet into the ring. Now to close round one, we're going to slip stitch to the top of our chain three here. So right to the top, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull it through, and then through the loop on your hook. Round two, we're going to place two double crochet into each of these stitches. So to begin round two, chain three, this counts as our first double crochet. And then right into that same stitch that we slip stitched into, we're going to place another double crochet. So there I have two stitches. And then into each stitch all the way around, just place two double crochet. At the end, we will have 24 double crochet. Here is my work at the end of round two. And as you see, there is a gap here, but that is completely normal when we do this kind of increasing. So you have 24 double crochet in round two, and then just slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning. For round three, we are going to be increasing again. Two double crochet into the first stitch, and one double crochet into the next stitch. This is going to be repeated all the way around. So to begin, we are going to chain three. This counts as our first double crochet. And double crochet into the same stitch, which is the same stitch we slip stitched into. Then one double crochet into the following stitch. And then we repeat. So we have two double crochet into this next stitch. And one double crochet into the following stitch. Repeat this all the way around, and at the end of round three, you will have 36 double crochet. For round three, you should end with a single double crochet. And then just slip stitch to the top of your chain three. 
Round four, we are going to be increasing in a similar manner. So we're going to do two double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then it's just going to be repeated all the way around. So of course we're starting off with a chain of three and double crocheting into the same stitch. Then a single into the next two stitches. And then just repeat that. So two double crochet into this next stitch. And one into the following two. At the end of round four, you should have 48 double crochet. To begin round five, we're going to chain four. This chain of four is going to count as our first double crochet plus chain one. We're then going to skip a double crochet and double crochet into this next stitch. Then chain seven. Double crochet back into that same stitch. Then chain one, and now we're going to repeat this all over again. So skip a double crochet and double crochet into the following stitch. So this is the repeat. Double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain seven, double crochet back into that same stitch. Chain one. And again, this is the repeat. So you have double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain seven, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and then you repeat again. And when you get to the end, you should have 12 of these chain sevens. At the end of round five, the last thing you want to do is chain one, and then slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning. For round six, chain one, and then single crochet into this same stitch that we slip stitched into. Insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. And now the next thing we're going to do is place seven double crochet into each one of these chain seven loops. And once we get to these single double crochets right here, we're going to place a single crochet into the top of each one of them here. So of course, first we need to place our seven double crochet into this loop. Once I have my seven double crochet, I will show you how it's looking. There are my seven double crochet into that chain seven loop. And now just single crochet into the top of that double crochet right there. Now 
And then you're gonna hop over and do seven double crochet into the next chain seven loop. Now as you see how this is looking here with this bunching up a little bit, and what you wanna do is kind of just play with it a little bit. Adjust the stitches onto this loop here. And I find if they're kind of in the middle, rather than spread out all the way, it does lay a little bit more flat. So there's that. And then single crochet in between. Seven double crochet, single crochet, seven double crochet, single crochet, all the way around. And once this is done, I will meet back up for the next round. Here I have come to the end of my skein and I decided to just pull apart the end of the rope a little bit, grab a basic yarn needle, and then we are going to just sew these two ends together so that I can continue without having a big knot. So there I've just put on, and you can see this pulls apart like this. So I'm just going to grab these ends with my needle and cinch it off. Then grab the end of this one and I don't know, I'm just going to sew these two together like this. But you can do this however you want to. And then you can just snip off this extra or you can sew it in. To complete round six, you're just going to slip stitch to your first single crochet. For round seven, we are going to be single crocheting into the middle stitch of each one of these sets of seven. So the middle stitch would be the fourth double crochet over and we need to get over there. So we're just going to be slip stitching till we get over there. So here is the middle stitch for me and I'm just going to place a single crochet. Now chain seven And then move on to your next set of seven and single crochet into the middle stitch. So that would be the fourth stitch. And then you're just going to repeat this all the way around. So chain seven again. And single crochet into the fourth double crochet that middle stitch. Once you get to the end, we will meet back up again. At the end of round seven, just slip stitch to your very first single crochet. To begin round eight, chain three. This chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. Now we can begin a repeat. Chain one, skip a chain, and double crochet into the following chain. Chain one, skip a chain, double crochet into the following chain. We're just going to continue this repeat all the way around. At the end of row eight, slip stitch to your third chain at the beginning. At the end of this round, you should have 48 double crochet, all separated by a chain one. To begin round nine, chain three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're going to be increasing in this round every seven stitches. So we're going to place another double crochet into that same space for our first increase. So double crochet two, and then double crochet into the next seven stitches. So you're just going to look at these chain spaces as a stitch. So it's gonna be seven stitches, and then increase two double crochet into the same stitch. 
and once I get to my next increase I can show you how my work is looking. So here I have seven double crochet and into the next stitch I'm going to place an increase. So two double crochet into the same stitch. And then seven double crochet into the next seven stitches. Once this round is complete, I will meet back up again for round 10. At the end of round nine, just slip stitch to complete. Now round nine was increase, two double crochet into the same stitch, and then double crochet seven. Increase and double crochet seven. Round 10 is going to be very similar. Increase, two double crochet into the same stitch, and double crochet into the next eight stitches. So instead of seven in between, we're going to be doing eight. So you want to chain three, that's your first double crochet, and double crochet into the same space. Then double crochet into the next eight stitches and increase. Continue in that fashion all the way around, and when you get to the end, you're just going to slip stitch to join. Here I am at the end of round 10, and there should be 120 double crochet. Now the next three rounds, we're going to be increasing just as we did for round nine and round 10. So round 11, 12, and 13, we are going to be increasing, so two double crochet into the same stitch, and then have a number of stitches in between. So round nine, we had seven double crochet in between. Round 10, we had eight double cro crochet in between. Round 11, we will have nine. Round 12, we will have 10. Round 13, we will have 11 between increases. So I'm going to let you go ahead and do the next three rounds. And once we get to the end of round 13, I will meet back up and show you how my work is looking. Here is my work after round 13. Round 14 and 15 is going to be very similar to round five and six. So round 14, we're going to be creating these large V stitches and the chains of seven. We just have a little difference over here. So down here on five, we skipped one double crochet. And up here on round 14, we are going to be skipping two stitches. So again, we are going to chain four at the beginning to count as our first double crochet and chain one. Then skip two stitches and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain seven. and double crochet into the same stitch. Then chain one, skip two stitches, and double crochet into the following stitch. And chain one. Then we're going to repeat. So that is actually the repeat right here where we double crocheted. So again, the repeat for round 14 is double crochet, chain one, skip two stitches, double crochet, chain seven, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, skip two stitches. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Once you get to the very end, you're just going to do the exact same thing. Chain one to finish, skip your last two stitches here, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. And now we can begin round 15. So we just finished round 14, which was right up here. And now we're going to do round 15. Round 15 is going to be exactly like round six, which was down here. So you're going to be single crocheting into the single double crochets right here. 
So a single crochet, double crochet, seven, single crochet, double crochet, seven, and repeat. So we're just going to do that up here. Single crochet in these single double crochets here and place seven double crochet in each one of the chain seven loops. Once we get to the end of this round, I'll meet back up and show you how my work is looking. After round 15, I have 26 double crochet groups of seven. Before we start round 16, I just wanted to talk a little bit about round 16. So round 16 is going to be very much like round seven, where we single crocheted, chain seven, single crochet. But for round 16, we need 204 stitches. So the repeats are going to be a little bit different. Um, a few of these chains will only be chain of six. So with keeping that in mind, let's begin round 16. The first thing we have to do for round 16 is to get to the middle double crochet of our first arch here. So I need to slip stitch over there and single crochet into that space. So I am single crocheting and that's going to be my first single crochet of the round. Next we're going to begin a repeat that will be repeated four times in total. So this is how I have worked it out. I actually wrote it down right here. So we're going to be chaining seven two times, then chaining six, then chaining seven three times, and then repeating that again. So I will begin the repeat now. Chain seven, single crochet, chain seven, and single crochet. So there I have two chain seven. Now we're going to do a chain of six. Then three chains of seven. So here's my first one. Here's my second one. and my third one. And that is the end of the repeat. So now we will begin again. And so of course this is the first of four. We need four repeats. So we had two chains of seven, a chain of six, and three chains of seven. And we're going to repeat that three more times. So we need three more times, we're gonna do that. And once I get to the end of that repeat, I will meet back up and we can finish this round. After completing those repeats, the last step of round 17 is to chain seven two more times. So I have single crocheted my after my last set there. So chain seven, single crochet, chain seven, and then slip stitch to your beginning single crochet. Again, at the end of round 16, you should have 204 stitches. Now to begin round 17, we're going to be doing what we did way down here. Double crochet, chain one, 
skip a stitch, double crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So of course this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we're doing a chain of three for a double crochet, plus one for a chain one. Skip a stitch and double crochet. Repeat this all the way around and at the end I will meet back up with you. Here I have completed round 17 and then slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning. So then I have a chain in between. Now we can begin our final round, which is round 18. This round we are going to be increasing into the first stitch and double crocheting into the next 16 stitches. At the end of this round you will have 216 double crochet and then you can fasten off. To begin round 18 we're going to chain 3, double crochet into the same stitch. That's our first increase. So 2 double crochet into the same stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches or chains. Once you get to the end of this round, slip stitch to your chain three of course, then you can just grab your scissors and fasten off and weave in your ends. I hope you have fun making this beautiful rug. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing to this channel. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial.